The intent of the major is uh, really twofold. One is very much a, uh, a preparation for career placement uh, um, effort. The other one is preparation for advanced uh, postgraduate degrees, uh, whether it be law school or uh, a PhD um, level work, master's and PhD level work. Um, and so we've designed the program that way uh, so that it fits the needs of what students want or design the major that way, fits the needs of, of what students want, whether they want to graduate and immediately go into a career, or whether they want to graduate and pursue an advanced degree, uh, and then uh, go into their careers. The career options are wide open with a, uh, with a major in, in uh, criminology. The criminal justice system through the 1990s and 2000s has been one of the largest growth industries uh, in America. Um, I don't know that that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it is uh, one of significant increase uh, in opportunities. So uh, um, the, the major is coming along and, and providing access to careers at a time uh, when the interest in careers along those lines has accelerated as well. well I, I will point out that since the popularity of crime dramas on television, especially programs like CSI or NCIA. I, mean, I, I don't watch them myself, but uh, again, another question very much, or, or at least a comment that students often come in and say is, I would like a career in something like that. Um, so there, there are opportunities in the criminal justice system itself, whether it be in corrections or law enforcement or intervention or the legal system. There are a, a variety of career opportunities right after graduation. We would expect a substantial number of majors to go on to uh, uh, postgraduate degree work in law school. A uh, criminology major would be a, a good fit for someone wanting to go to law especially if the kind of law that they think they're interested in practicing is uh, criminal law as opposed to civil law. Uh, it's not bad for civil law as well, but uh, there's sort of a natural fit with criminal law. Um, or those who want to deal with crime uh, or study crime or uh, have careers in criminology at yet a, uh, a higher level. We have placed a number of our students in postgraduate programs, master's degree programs, and PhD uh, programs at some of the top universities around the country. Uh, and uh, some WKU undergraduates who are now uh, have their postgraduate degrees are on faculty at universities uh, around the country. Uh, and so we, we're beginning a, an important, or we have uh, already established uh, kind of an important pipeline there, and the major will enable more of, of that direction. So uh, job opportunities are, uh, are, are significant uh, in the field, especially if one has an interest in a crime-related career. The major is designed uh, it's a 34-hour it's a major, uh, 34 credit hours. <clears throat> um, and it's built around a core of courses that were part of the minor and have now been incorporated into the major itself. Uh, so there are some, some basic courses. It begins with an introductory uh, a course, an intro to criminal justice, that is then followed by a course on deviant behavior, a course on criminology, an overview which was kind of heavy into the theories of why uh, we see crime the way that we do, both at an individual and at an aggregate level. Uh, there's a course on juvenile delinquency. There's a course on penology that involves or includes, and I, I hope this isn't, doesn't discourage anyone uh, uh, from pursuing, but the penology course includes on-site uh, uh, field trips uh, into the corrections facilities, both federal and uh, state-level corrections facilities uh, in the state of Kentucky. They are an absolute thrill. I mean, they are, it's, a re, it's a very, very interesting thing to go and do. Uh, it gives a, a sense of what prison is, uh, is like on the inside without having to watch documentaries on television. On top of those core classes, there are a whole variety of, of elective courses that would be uh, more along the lines of what personal interests the students might have. So the courses range from things like, and many of those, uh, or some of those courses are interdisciplinary involving other departments. 
but they might include uh, uh, courses on family violence or uh, white collar crime or organized crime. Uh, um, and uh, a victimology. Uh, or do a course on genocide. We're developing a course on, on homicide. Uh, and so there are a, a number of these different kinds of interest areas that will fill out the rest of the major. We offer a very, very effective internship. Uh, we have great connections with, um, well, you name it. Uh, involved with the criminal justice system, whether it's corrections, intervention, or law enforcement, law offices. Um, <clears throat> we place uh, students, we have great relationships uh, with agencies around here. Um, we in, currently this summer uh, have a student interning with the ATF, uh, um, Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms a Federal Agency. Most of our students intern uh, with state or uh, city level agencies, but that is by their design, and that is in part because the federal ones are competitive, uh, not just from us, but uh, uh, other institutions around the country. The penology class, the juvenile delinquency class in particular, involve uh, uh, field trips that go into facilities that deal with, um, uh, with uh, kids or adults. Uh, who have been incarcerated or institutionalized in one uh, manner or another uh, and get to go. Um, uh, usually they are, are, are day trip types of experiences, but those day trips include uh, not just walking through the facility on the other side of plexiglass or on the other side of uh, bars, but actually walking in the prisons, in uh, the correctional facilities, in the yard with prisoners there, interact with, having a chance to sit down in a, uh, in a library room and visit with and, and talk with uh, people who are, are incarcerated. Uh, um, and uh, not to mention interact with and visiting with the staff. And it, it is sobering, and we build up the students. We don't just surprise students. Uh, we, we let them know that when you go, uh, to this facility. You're going to be in the yard with people who are doing time and um, we go through this whole process of, of how they should dress and uh, not be... Uh, um, uh, it's, it's very plain, right? You, you do a, a very plain, very uh, non-attention gathering uh, and it's, it's a very safe thing. Uh, correctional officers are there as well uh, with us walking through, but it's not like you know, big uh, armed escort, the correctional officer is also unarmed uh, uh, who's walking through it. And the prisoners, um, they actually look forward to this kind of thing too. If you think about what the monotony of their day is like, if they can get outsiders to be coming in and, and see and, and interact with and have a different kind of a conversation uh, than they have to have with their cellmates or their yard mates on a, a consistent basis. It's a it really has been a very positive, uh, a very, I, I think, a win-win situation. Two of our faculty members are involved in what's called an inside-out program. And the inside-out uh, um, is a class that is set up at WKU where students register for and enroll in the class here, but the class itself is actually taught inside a correctional facility and additional students in that facility are incarcerated. Uh, there are prisoners uh, who take the class alongside our students and it meets once a week. Uh, uh, typically it is, our arrangement has been with a, uh, um, with a facility down in Nashville, so it has involved a trip down to Nashville once a week. But it's a three hour class where they sit in a room with, uh, uh, with men at this point. It's, been, it's a male correctional facility where the class has been taught at this point, but the, uh, the students can be male or female, uh, um, WKU students. And they, the, the, the classes uh, talk about issues related to criminology, but what is really amazing or unique about it is to have the input from people who are incarcerated, some of whom are lifers, uh, uh, who are in for the rest of their lives and are offering a very unique perspective on the criminal justice system, on crime, on why they're there. Uh, and this collective uh, experience is unlike anything else I think that is taught uh, on, on this campus.
we're very excited about uh, about having the major role. It was a long time in coming. We were resistant for a while, in part because we felt, I, I think, some pressure from especially the CPE that uh, they did not want just a carbon copy major for what Eastern Kentucky University offers with its uh, um, uh, with its uh, criminal justice college and and all the things that they have there. Uh, but this this criminology major is really unique from what any of the other I think any of the other universities are teaching. We're thrilled uh, to meet what we perceive as as having been a uh, um, a pent up demand for some time.